Well, hello again, fabulous friends, and welcome to another video. Now we are here in fabulous Florida. Since the beginning of our travels, Josie and I, a lot of things have happened in the wonderful flesh and blood world. We'll get back to that in a few minutes, but before, I just wanted to tell you about something that happened last year. Now, you may recall I pulled a heart of Fyndel at my uh, Canada house. I had two boxes of flesh and blood, well, welcome to Ray's first edition, delivered there, pulled my Fyndel, heart of Fyndel, and then I also had a box, a whole case delivered to our Florida home. So I had not seen, touched uh, that uh, case since then. Now we're back in, this is basically in the fall of 2020 when Flesh and Blood was not even in Canada yet. It had just made its way to the US. So I saw this on um, eBay, I believe, and ordered a full case for about $1,200. No, that's per, for the whole case. That's not per box. Um, of Welcome to Wraith First Edition. And actually, here is the box. There you go, you can see that. And um, we actually, I, I, was, I was thinking of not opening it, but what's the fun in that? I was gonna ask you guys, what do you think? Should I leave the case sealed or open it and then have the boxes so you know I can handle them and have fun with them? So actually the uh, sticker was upside down, so I opened it <laughs> on the right side. And as you can see, there's uh, three boxes left because I've pulled one out and I also had some acrylic casings delivered to the Florida house. These come from Collector's Store in the USA, and they have uh, wonderful acrylic uh, boxes that can contain your precious boxes of first edition. So I had enough uh, ordered that I would have these four boxes well protected. I also have some Arcane Rising uh, first edition to uh, protect also. So uh, yeah, so I was kind of Really happy to finally see those. And I can probably imagine that some of you are wondering what the heck is going on with my face. Well, um, there are two things here happening. First of all, we're halfway through November. And as you may know, November is to support the Prostate uh, Cancer uh, Society for research. So you can uh, do your contribution to, to that if you wish. And uh, as we are halfway through the month, well, Josie was telling me, because I, I really don't like wearing this ugly mustache, you know? So I was uh, anxious to take it off. And she said, well, we're halfway through the month. Maybe you can take half of it off. So uh, that's exactly what I did. And, uh, but I, and, and you know, <laughs> there's something else also. I was also wondering, you know, I wasn't sure if I liked it or if I half liked it, you know, wearing the mustache I'm talking about here. So I, again, got to shaving half of it off. I think I shaved the wrong half off though. So I'm left with the half I didn't like in the first place. But uh, yeah, enough joking. All right, so let's get some more, to some more news. All right, so one of the announcements that Legend Story Studios has made since we have begun our travels is the fact that Arcane Rising Unlimited is now out of print. Okay, now I want you guys to recall a video I made about eight, nine months ago. I was thinking that the first two sets, Welcome to Wraith and Arcane Rising Unlimited, those boxes would double in price within a year. You may recall that. Now, I was counting on the fact that these would go out of print, obviously, because, you know, until then, and as long as they're available, that doesn't have much chance of happening. Now, Crucible of War went out of print about a month ago. They've announced that. And you'll recall, I thought that the other two sets would stay in print for probably another year or so, so that new players that come in would have access to those first few sets. Now, Legend Store Studios has de decided that Arcane Rising would go out of print right away. And, uh, and remember, this is the second set, so why not the first set? Well, I guess they're just going to hold on to the first set as a, a, you know, a set that available to new players, and we can expect that to go out of print pretty soon. Now, let's see. We have another three months here to see if my prediction comes true. Uh, I don't know about that, but uh, all I can say is that the products that have been announced out of print have gone up already in price, so we'll uh, see a little bit about that. Now, you may be wondering why I have here close to me a uh, Flesh and Blood uh, Crucible of War. This is actually a first edition box. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to Mexico, and um, I'm actually going to ask James White about this. I'll text him, and I wanted to make sure, I wanted to see if in Mexico any flesh and blood has been opened before. So as we are there, we are hopefully going to be the first to open some product in Mexico. You'll see this on camera. We'll film it. So first edition of uh, Crucible of War, we'll be doing that uh, within the next few weeks. All right, so what else I have for you today? Oh, yeah. New, um, the new set coming out, the new supplemental set, it has been announced now, it is called Everfest. Now you may have seen, if you want to go see these details that I'm going to talk to you about here, you just need to go to the uh, fabtcg.com website, it's all explained there. I'll just give you the 
you know, the main headlines. It is a 198 card supplemental set, just like a Crucible of War, just about the same amount of cards. And it is coming out on February 4th, 2022. So that is really cool. And uh, the world, I could say the world premiere that they're doing here, uh, Legend Store Studios, is that the packs for the first time will be um, environmental friendly. They will be made of paper, so no more plastic. Well, actually, they may have some in the future, but uh, they're calling them um, paper paper wraps. Uh, they have a name that they've come up with. It with. I don't remember exactly, but uh, starting next set, it will be uh, environmental friendly. So that's uh, congratulations to Legend Store Studios for that. And uh, so back to the set, 198 cards. It will be uh, feature cards that are available for every uh, hero. Now I'm wondering if Kavdan the Merchant or Shania the uh, Shapeshifter will also have cards for those heroes because it says in their website that there will be cards available for all heroes. Now what's interesting, they're talking about Everfest has the theme, it's a carnival theme. So maybe, maybe we'll see which card we get to reveal to the world when that comes out. But uh, I'm thinking that you might see Josie and I dressed as clowns next time because uh, Everfest is a carnival theme. There's even a carnival slot in the packs. Um, unclear what that is so far, but just like Crucible of War, these packs will contain 10 cards, seven of which are commons, one foil, and two of which are rare plus, so you can get rare majestic or you know, rare legendary, obviously. Speaking of legendaries, in this set, in that set, there will be also just three legendaries, one fabled, three legendaries, and get a load of this, 45 majestics. So that is a lot of majestics. That's per practically a quarter of the set will be majestic cards. They need some strong cards. I don't know if already there will be some reprints. You know, we don't have Command, Command and Conquer anymore with, uh, with Arcane Rising going out of print. We'll see about that. So that's what's going on with, uh, with that, and actually, um, probably, well, for sure, some Majestics that are related to each one of the heroes. There are a lot of heroes. I think there are, we're up to 16 or 17 heroes so far. So we'll see about that. Quite anxious to see that. Beginning of February and um, preview season will begin January 24th. So that may, may be a time where you'll see us uh, dressed up uh, special again. Anyway, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you've uh, liked this uh, video coming to you from afar. Well, afar. <laughs> I mean, uh, for us, afar, from where we normally are in Canada. And um, hopefully you will uh, give us some thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go right ahead. We are still waiting to hit that 2,000 subscriber mark. And for until our next video, stay safe out there, and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.